today we'll be focusing more on uh, back bends. So if you are ready, come towards the front of your mat. Okay. As you stand towards the front, check that your feet are hips width distance apart. One way to see that is if you can fit two fists in between the feet. Okay, so that should be approximately hips width distance. Check to see that all ten toes are pointing towards the front. Lift up all toes to activate the arches of your feet and then grip the toes down onto the mat. Pull the kneecaps up, pull the belly button in, ribs in, and then keep the shoulders rolled down towards the back, hands towards the sides, palms facing forward. Tune in towards the breath, breathing easy in and out through the nose. Slow down the pace of your breath here. Feel the energy rising from your feet all the way up towards the crown of the head, keeping the belly button pulled in here. And from here, inhale, reach the hands up over the head, gazing at the palms as they touch. Feel the energy rising as you stretch up. And slowly as you exhale, interlace your fingers towards the back. Keeping the belly button pulled in, inhale, roll the shoulders back, opening up the chest as you press the hands back, keeping the belly button pulled in. Inhale here, and slowly as you exhale, slowly folding forward, maybe keeping a slight bend in the knees as you reach the hands back, feeling the stretch on the back of your hamstrings here as well as on the shoulders. And if you are here, as the shoulder blades pinch in towards each other, try to separate or widen the shoulder blades a bit as you reach the hands forward. Just stay here relaxing as you stretch the legs here. Breathe easy in and out through the nose. Inhaling here. Now slowly as you exhale, allow your hands to touch down onto the low back and then slowly release the fingers as you ripple the fingers down onto the mat. You can keep a slight bend in the knees if you'd like. As you inhale, pull with your fingers back, pulling the chest forward, pulling the belly button in, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, palms down onto your mat and then slowly move back into your tabletop position. Knees underneath the hips and wrists underneath the shoulders. Let's do a few cat cows. Inhale, opening the chest, reaching the chin, and tailbone reaches up. Exhale, flex the spine, pull the belly, rounding the back. Two more, inhale, opening the chest, chin up. Exhale, flex, rounding the back. Inhale again, open chest, chin up. Exhale, flex the spine, pull the belly in, chin towards the chest. Inhale, moving back into your neutral spine. Um, I'll just step back a little bit. From here, take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly reach your hands forward and then slowly just place the crown of your head down onto your mat. This is the puppy dog pose. Just in case this is already too much of a stretch for you or this is already a really good stretch for your upper back, then you can go ahead and stay here. Otherwise, if you are feeling um, that you can go for more stretch here, you can go for the deeper pose and slowly reaching the hands forward, coming down onto your chin with your chest down onto your mat. And then make sure that as you reach the hands forward, you're stretching forward, you're also trying to bring the hands together towards the midline. If there is any crunching sensation on the low back, kindly come out of this pose as well. Breathe easy in and out through the nose. Take an inhale here, and then slowly as you exhale, press down onto your hands, lifting the chest, and then just slowly lie all the way down onto your mat. Hands at the sides, press the tops of the feet down as you reach the feet towards the back, pulling the belly in here. From here, take an inhale, slowly with the use of your upper back, lifting the chest up, gazing down towards the front of your mat. Keeping the belly button pulled in, just keep the gaze neutral to keep the length on the back of the neck. Breathe easy here. Inhale, 
And now let's try as you exhale, lift the hands up and then slowly interlace the fingers as you press the backs of the hands onto your low back or on the butt here, pulling the belly in, inhale. And slowly as you exhale, reach the hands back, then maybe lift up just a little bit more, stretching the shoulders again. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, roll all the way down, hands at the uh, bottom of your shoulders, tuck the toes under, inhale here, and slowly as you exhale, press down onto your hands, lifting the chest off of the mat, pressing the hips towards the back, and then slowly lifting the hips up, lifting the tailbone up into your downward facing dog. Keep pressing the earth away from your shoulders or away from your ears, pull the belly button in here, Keep the kneecaps lifted, but if your heels don't touch the mat, it's perfectly fine to keep a slight bend on the knees, okay? Breathe easy here, in and out, through the nose. From here, take an inhale, look forward towards the hands. And then slowly as you exhale, step your right foot inside of your right hand. Keep the left knee off of the mat and then the right knee is over the right ankle, pulling the belly button in here. And slowly as you inhale, lift the torso up as you reach the hands up over the head. Keep the right hip pulled back, inner thigh of the left leg stays lifted, but press the left heel towards the back as well, okay? Breathe towards the back of the ribs to keep the neutral spine as you reach the hands up, rolling the pinky fingers in. From here, take an inhale, and now slowly as you exhale, bending the elbows at a 90 degree. Inhale here, and then slowly as you exhale, press the elbows forward, and inhale, lift the chest up, as you come into a back bend, you can gaze up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Keep the legs strong, root down with your right heel on the mat. If you fall out, that's perfectly fine. Inhale here, exhale slowly, reach the hands back up, inhale, exhale, hands down and step it back, downward facing dog. Pulling the belly button in, inhale, and slowly exhale, left foot inside of your left hand. Keep the right knee lifted off of the mat, okay? Pull the belly in and slowly inhale again. Reach the hands up, coming up into your crescent lunge. Roll the pinky fingers in, inner right thigh is lifted as you press the right heel back. Left knee stays over the left ankle, okay? Inhale towards the back of the ribs to neutralize the spine. And slowly as you exhale, elbows at a 90 degree bend. Pull the belly in here, inhale. And slowly as you exhale, press the elbows forward, hands back. And inhale, opening up the chest, lifting the chest up as you gaze up. And if you fall out, that's perfectly fine. Just slowly come back, breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly reach the hands back up, inhale, exhale, hands back down, and step it back, downward facing dog. Slow and steady breathing, in and out, through the nose. Three, two, one. From here, look forward towards the front, inhale. Exhale again, step the right foot forward. This time, spin the back heel down so the side edge of the back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. And as you inhale, rise up into your warrior two. Right knee is over the right ankle. Shoulders stay over the hips, gazing forward towards your right fingertips. Just so we could lengthen our sides as well. Really good for back bends. Left hand onto your left thigh, flip the right palm, and slowly as you inhale, reach the right hand towards the back, lengthening the right side of the body. 
if you feel that this is quite uncomfortable for your neck, you can go ahead as well and gaze down towards your back foot as you reach the left hand, maybe closer towards the left foot. Inhale here and slowly exhale. Windmill back into your warrior two and slowly hands down. Step it back, downward facing dog. Slow, steady breathing, and let's move towards the other side. Look forward, front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, left foot inside of the left hand. Spin the back heel down, side edge of the back foot, parallel with the back of the mat. Inhale, windmill your hands up into your warrior two. Check that your shoulders stay over the hips. Left knee stays over the left ankle. Keep the left hip pulled back as you keep the left knee pointing towards the same direction as the second toe. And let's lengthen the sides of our body. Right hand onto your right thigh. Flip the left hand up. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. And again, you can gaze down towards the back of the foot if that feels more comfortable for your neck as you reach the right hand lower and feel the stretch here on the left side of the body. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, moving back, warrior two, windmilling the hands down, step it back, downward facing dog. Okay, slow and steady breath, in and out through the nose. Slowly inhale from your downward facing dog. Slowly roll the spine forward, bringing your shoulders over the wrist. Keep the belly button pulled in here. Inhale and slowly as you exhale, knees down and then slowly bend the elbows. Go all the way down onto your mat. Let's go ahead and just rest for a bit. Hands down, bring the chin or rather the cheek down and wiggle the hips from side to side and then over towards the other side, okay? And then from here, I'll show you a modification of the Dhanurasana pose just in case um, you feel like you're not getting any lift at all. So bring your hands towards the sides here, pulling the belly button in. From here, take an inhale, bend both of your knees, and then hands, grab a hold of the uh, ankles, okay? Otherwise, if it's too far of a reach, you can just grab a hold of the tops of the feet, okay? If you have the hands on the ankles, you can flex the feet as well, just to get much more of a grip on the ankles. Pull the belly button in here, and slowly as you inhale, lift the chest, Opening the shoulders, press the ankles onto the hats. Try to keep the knees down onto the mat. So you're using leg strength as well. Breathe, hold for five, four, keep the shoulders down, three, two, one. Slowly release feet and hands down onto the mat as well as the chest. One way as well to modify that is if you get a block just to get a higher lift. So you can as well go ahead into the Dhanurasana without the block onto the second round. But you can as well also place a block just in front of the belly button. So it might feel a little bit uncomfortable the first time, but you will see a difference in how much of a lift your chest gets. Okay, so bending the knees, grab a hold of the ankles, pull the belly in, maybe flex the feet, and slowly inhale, press the ankles back, opening the chest, and you will see that I'm already getting much height as well as more lift on my chest here. Gaze forward, breathe, three, two, one. And slowly release and as well <laughs> release the block towards the side, okay? And then from here, just so we can uh, decompress the low back, feet together, sit down onto your heels, forehead down onto the mat. Reach the hands forward. Slow and steady breathing, 
in and out through the nose. Okay, and then as well, slowly begin to sit down towards the front of your mat. Okay, extend the legs towards the front. You can flex the feet to engage the quads. So to counter all of the back bends, we're just going to do a seated forward fold. Inhale, reach your hands up. And as you exhale, reach forward without thinking of your toes first. Check to see if your hands are already moving past the toes, okay? If not, you can bend the uh, knees here and grab a hold of the sides of the feet. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, fold in, just so long as you're getting a stretch on the back of the hamstrings, okay? But otherwise, if you are the flexible type, you can keep the legs straight and fold forward this way. Breathe easy, three, two, one. Inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, slowly release. You can keep the toes together. You can also keep the feet hips width distance apart. Reach the hands forward, palms facing in towards each other. Inhale here, exhale, reach the fingers forward, lower down onto your sacrum, hold for five, Four, keep the belly pulled in. Three, two, one. Reach the fingers forward, lower down, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach the fingers forward, lower down, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach the fingers forward. Lower down, hold five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release all the way down onto your mat. Hug your knees, close in towards the chest, swing from side to side if you'd like. And slowly take an inhale here, left leg forward, left hand stays on the right knee, extend the right hand towards the side, and let's take a twist. Okay. Twists after a back bend or after back bends is really great for the body to counter the back bend. <laughs> so make sure you go for twists after a back bend practice. Gaze towards the right fingers if it's not too much for the neck. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly come back towards the center, hugging both knees. And let's move towards the other side. Right leg forward, keep the left knee in. Left hand extends. And then twist towards the opposite side. Okay. Keep the left foot flexed. Pull the belly in. And if there's no strain in the neck, Gaze towards the left fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly coming back. Hug the knees back in. Let's slowly unravel feet towards the front. Maybe the heels are as wide as the mat. Hands at the sides with the palms facing up. And take your Shavasana here to bring the body back into its neutral uh, state, realigning the spine, and just to give rest for your entire body. Stay here for as long as you'd like, or if you're ready, wiggle your fingers and gently wiggle the toes. Stretch your arms up as you stretch your feet towards the front, slowly bending both the knees, and roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as your pillow, inhaling here. 
and slowly exhale. So slowly come back into, or slowly come into your seated uh, posture. Uh, congratulations, Yogi. You really did a really good job. Namaste and see you again soon.